15 years later, he only won one Super Bowl, not four like Chuck Noll, but he had represented an image to Steeler fans, the chin, the spill, whatever it was, they certainly embraced it. And his overall power, power, yo. We were a family, we were in this together. You know, we haven't mentioned the Steelers in a while. Here we go. Yeah, I still think there's some black and gold out there, like a lot. Succeeding a legend. Boy, that's been a big theme tonight, hasn't it been? And it sure applies to Bill Cowher. Chin, baby. Chuck Noll was hired by the Roonies as a first-time head coach. He was 37 years old. That worked out pretty well, didn't it? Now, let's go to 1992. And the Roonies hire a first-time head coach who's younger at 34. That also worked out pretty well, didn't it? As in... First six years, Steelers were in the playoffs, including a Super Bowl. Only Paul Brown had done that before Coach Bill Cowan. Paul Brown, say no more. In 2001, the Steelers went 13 and three. In 2004, they were 15 and one. In 2005, they were seven and five. All right, but but they promptly reeled off four straight wins to finish 11 and five and B. The sixth seed, which means nice, but you're really not going anywhere. Wrong. Bill Cowher Steelers had won six regular season road games, and apparently, as the sixth seed, you're on the road for the whole thing. They were just warming up. Playoff wins followed in, in Cincinnati. At Indy, in the game we like to call <laughs> the Immaculate Redemption, in that game. And at Denver, nine road wins, an NFL record. And then, Super Bowl 40 over Seattle. A long, circuitous trip to bring the Lombardi Trophy all the way back to Coach Cowher's hometown. That's right. Of Pittsburgh. Here we go. Here we go. All done with the jaw and the chin stuck straight out, all of it. To present Coach Carr tonight, the owner of the Steelers, Art Rooney II. Hello, One of the great parts of the Bill Cowher story is that uh, you know, he, he grew up in western Pennsylvania. He, he has that set of values of, of, of grit and toughness. coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers and would be a worthy successor to one of the greatest coaches in sports history. We knew it was going to be a, a difficult job to replace Coach Knoll. When the list was finally put together, Bill was the, the youngest person on the list. It was my pleasure to introduce Coach Bill Power. Any Steelers coach replacing Knoll would be held to a championship standard and count delivered. In 1995, the 38-year-old became the youngest coach to lead his team to a Super Bowl. A decade later, Cowher brought the franchise its fifth Super Bowl title. It was uh, was a great moment and, and really uh, special uh, to see Bill holding that trophy, that's for sure. You know, for Bill to hand that trophy to my father, uh, certainly uh, something I'll, I'll never forget. It's the highest honor for somebody in, in football to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Bill entered the league at the, the, the lowest possible run of the ladder. Uh, he, he was an undrafted free agent, a long shot against.
guess you could call him to make a team and wound up sticking with the Eagles and became a special teams player from that beginning to go on to have the kind of success that he had and then to now be inducted into the Hall of Fame. It's, it's just a great story and I'm just so happy for him.